Hi everyone, if you're watching this video, you've probably bought the Solarad EV charger. Welcome to the Driving on Sunshine Club. In this video, we'll go through the process of the commissioning of the EV charger. But before we start, let's have a quick look at what you need for the commissioning. You have the EV charger already mounted and wired on the wall. In addition, you need a quick guide, possibly a pair of hand gloves, a flat screwdriver and a voltage meter. Okay. The terminal cover on the left is closed, but I left the communication area accessible and we will cover it later. Now, first thing you want to do is set the dip switch. The charging station is set to 16 amps in the delivery state. In order to adapt the maximum current to the installed line circuit breaker, a configuration via the dip switches is necessary. To move the switches, you should use a flat screwdriver. And for alternative setups of current, use the quick installation guide. All right, we have our dip switch set. Now, before we turn on the AC, we want to make sure that we don't have any residual installation or connection materials around the connection area. And we're going to make sure that the cables, the screw connections are properly locked in place. All right, we're going to move on to turning on the electrical grid. Now, what's going to happen is the charger will start an automatic self-test procedure and will display out of service for approximately 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, the LED bar should flash blue or green. This indicates that the self-test was successful. Meanwhile, you can use those 10 minutes to enjoy a cup of coffee. After the successful startup, you can put the charging station into the commissioning mode needed to perform the required initial testing. To activate the commissioning mode, you will need to switch on dip switch eight in the upwards position and then press the service button until you hear a clear beep. In commissioning mode, the device carries out an extended self-test and the contactor is switched on with a time limit to allow you to measure the voltage on the contact points of the charger gun. Once you're in the commissioning mode, you will notice the LED turns orange. Please notice that a normal charging procedure is not possible when you're in commissioning mode. Okay, voltage meter is connected. Let's test our EV charger. Yes, everything looks great. Let's move on to the next step. Now we'll need to deactivate the commissioning mode in order to operate the charge station properly. Let's set the dip switch 8 back into the off position. And now we're going to press the service button. What we're going to do now is register the SolarEdge EV charger via the SolarEdge monitoring platform. Once your EV charger is properly installed and you have the blue or green LED blinking, you are ready to start. We finished the installation and we've closed the cover with the two screws. Now we're going to go to the registration of the SolarEdge EV charger in the SolarEdge monitoring platform. Log into the monitoring platform. You go to the admin tab. You select logical layout and on the left side click add device. Once we've added this, we can select smart EV chargers and deselect the inverters. Then we'll go find the serial number of the EV charger, which is located on the left side of the EV charger label. Once the serial number is added, just click Create. The EV charger is added to the monitoring platform and will appear in the My Solar Edge application. Last step is to open the My Solar Edge and see the EV charger is registered. And yes, as you can see, it is. That's it. Enjoy your new Solar Edge EV charger. To complete the installation, use our manual and our supporting how-to videos in the YouTube channel. 